going. Okay, from time to time, glue or dirt will get stuck in the solenoid, causing the aerator to constantly run water and overflow. So what you want to do is you start by loosening up the coil, pulling the cover off, so then you can remove the coil from the aerator solenoid. The electrical coil here has a small plunger and an O-ring. So when the electric current fires, the plunger opens, allowing water to flow. So if that's working fine, then you can come in here and there's several different sizes of solenoids. One has a screw like we have here, so that one does it. Some have four bolts, some have eight to ten bolts, but they all operate the same. So you can take the ring off, holding the cap in place. When you pull the cap off, there's going to be an upper spring that has to be in place. If the upper spring is not there, it'll constantly fill. There's a diaphragm assembly that can carefully be removed. You don't want to cut it. Just kind of get it in there. You can pull that off. And then there's a weep hole, which releases water in the outer ring. If there's any tears or holes in the gasket, it'll constantly overflow. If there's any debris holding this open, it'll constantly flow, mainly in here or around here. So if everything's clean and clear, you put the diaphragm back in place. Some of these caps have a specific way of going on. There'll be a little weep hole up here instead of down here. Make sure that's all lined up. The cap, make sure is not plugged through any of those ports. Put the spring right inside, cap back on. Hold it in, screw your nut back on. Now this particular valve has a outer ring that if you open this up with the coil on, that'll allow water to manually fill. You want to make sure that's not plugged and the O-ring's okay. screw it back on completely tight. This also has an adjustment screw here that you can loosen, water and spray out, and that'll manually fill. So this one has three different ways to manually fill. In the last one, once you get it all back together, you've cleaned the debris, you make sure the plunger works. If you plug this into the wall and the float is down, that plunger should pull in. Go ahead and make sure it's straight. Don't cross thread it. Screw it in tight. Once it's tight, put the cover on. Put your plug up, hold the cap in place, plug it back in and you're good to go.